best way to learn about photography is to actually do photography. For the past 30 years I've been using a Rolleiflex 6x6 film camera. Um, I'm obsessed with the square uh, format because I'm very formalistic in my style, which means that I believe every part of the picture has an organic uh, purpose and the square is a perfect form in which uh, tells the viewer subliminally and consciously that all uh, parts of the picture have an equal purpose informing the whole experience of the work. When I'm taking the pictures, I don't have any words for what I'm doing. And I don't ultimately know what's, what the picture's going to mean. And I've always told people that the best pictures I make, I have no understanding of. I can't understand them in, a, in all sorts of ways. And so if I can't understand them, I have no idea how you, how you understand them. If I had to say, what is the percentage of time you were to spend doing photography versus looking at photography, I would say 80-20. Spend 80% of your time looking at, looking at your own pictures, doing your own work, and grow from that, because that's where it's at. I don't really have any prejudice about um, how people, what technology people use to take their pictures. Ultimately, what matters is that are the images themselves. Uh, my upcoming book um, deals with birds in a very strange, um, surrealistic environment. The environment is uh, uh, full of drawings, strange objects, uh, people. The, the photographs were taken in Johannesburg, South Africa in a very big house uh, that was full of people from different walks of life and was owned by a man who uh, loved birds and didn't cage his birds. The evening was amazingly enjoyable. Um, Roger's balanced talk was fantastic. He was very candid and also very directional. He was very confrontational at the audience occasionally, which made it really interesting. It kept, them on, it kept the audience on their toes and made for a much more uh, in-depth talk, sort of showed a deep level of his personality, which I don't think a lot of photographers often reveal. Um, he didn't seem to worry too much about what people thought of him, which was great.